Recently, I took you along with me as I explored beautiful Florida on a week-long wildlife photography adventure. I had so much fun photographing birds, alligators, raccoons, an armadillo, and so many other animals. Some of that time was spent in some more coastal areas, photographing the plentiful birds as they flew all around me. Coastal habitats can be so rich in wildlife, and the diversity of species that you can find in these areas is just mind-blowing. This week, I find myself once again exploring a beautiful coastal habitat. Not in Florida, but on the opposite side of the continent. Come along with me as I spend the day photographing the amazing coastal wildlife of California. I started out quite early in the morning. It's still winter and the days are short, so I wanted to give myself as much time as possible to search for and find as many animals as possible. I started along a stretch of beach looking for whatever shorebirds I could find. It was quite windy and at first the beach looked completely deserted. But after I looked a little bit closer, I noticed that the birds were all taking shelter from the wind behind any cover that they could find. I didn't want to disturb them at all or push them out into the wind, so I quickly moved on to search for other wildlife. Looking to the water, I spotted some sea otters in the distance. Usually, I like to photograph sea otters from my kayak, but the ocean was much too rough for that today. The sea otters didn't mind the boisterous waters at all. To them, it was just another day. I spent some time watching them from a distance. I always enjoy seeing these large aquatic weasels as they dive, groom, and feed on clams and other aquatic morsels. As I watched the sea otters, a goose came to pay me a visit, but eventually moved on. I soon did the same. My next stop was visiting a colony of pelicans. I've photographed pelicans many times before, but a goal I had today was to get some fun flight shots of them as they flew to and from their colony. I found the best way to improve your birds in flight photography is to just go out and practice and visiting a place where birds are constantly flying around like a pelican colony is the best way to get that practice. I had so much fun watching the pelicans as they flew around, preened, and postured. These are very interesting looking birds to say the least, but so beautiful in their own odd way. I stayed and photographed the colony for a couple of hours into the early afternoon. Luckily, some clouds rolled in and gave me some pleasant afternoon light to work with. Last year, I had an amazing and unexpected opportunity to spend some time with some fur seals. I was able to work with some biologists as we visited some seal rookeries. It was an amazing experience as we conducted seal counts and looked for seals that were entangled in ropes, nets, and plastic so that we could catch them and cut them free. Of course, I had to spend some time photographing them as well. My time spent with the seals was amazing and really made me want to focus on something similar on this week's California adventure. 
I was able to find some harbor seals, but didn't spend much time with them as I was looking for something much bigger, elephant seals. I found a small group and spent the rest of the afternoon observing and photographing these giant marine mammals. Much like the pelicans, they're a species that is beautiful in their own odd way. What an amazing day I have had out here. You know, I've always found it fascinating at just how much wildlife you can find and cram into a single day in these coastal areas. These areas truly are magnificent. They're just so rich in wildlife. I absolutely love it out here. The pelicans were my personal favorite today, but I did also love the seals and the two different species of seals, the sea otters off in the distance and the other birds that I was able to photograph as well. Just so much fun wildlife out here. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope your year is off to a great start. I know mine is, and I've got so many fun plans to uh, take you along with me on this year. I'm looking forward to 2024. It's gonna be a fantastic year. On that note, I've still got some 2024 wildlife calendars available on my website. I did sell out a couple times, but I've got some more back in stock. So if you don't have yours yet, go pick one up. I'll put a link to those in the description below. I always appreciate the support. I couldn't do this without your constant support, your feedback, recommendations, all the help that you guys give me. I always appreciate it. Thank you so much for following along. I hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next week.